boys and girls. It's Miss Diane from the Elk Grove Village Public Library. Welcome to Winter Wonderland Pails. I want to talk to you about what you're going to be doing in order to make your Winter Wonderland Pail. So you will receive a bag, a plastic bag that will have all the items that you need for this activity. You will get your um, plush. My plush happens to be a husky, a northern husky. And you will also get a birth certificate in your bag. And on you can fill out your birth certificate with your mom or your dad or your sister or brother. And you will have to um, name the date of the birth when you finished him, you stuffed him, her, her or him, their name, fur color, eye color, who it belongs to, where it lives, and then mom or dad or sister brother can witness write their name and they watched you make this beautiful plush. Then you will also get a star, a rainbow star, in which you will put into your plush after you stuff it. And first you'll make a wish on it, give it a kiss, and then put it in and it will bring that plush a lot of good luck as well as you. The last thing that you will get in your kit is a bag of stuffing because you want to stuff your plush to make it nice and firm. And you could stuff it as much as you want because you're the toy maker. You can do it, you can make it very fluffy or you can make it a little bit less fluffy, however you want because you are in charge. You are the toy maker. So I want to show you what you're going to start with. You're going to find the Velcro part of the um in the bottom of your plush you're going to find a velcro part you're going to pull it apart and reach way deep inside and pull out a little pouch a white pouch you will unzip your white pouch and this is where you're going to stuff I mean, this is where you're going to put your stuffing so you're gonna first want to stuff the arms, and then you're gonna to want to stuff the leg and legs, and then you're gonna to want to go and stuff the head and the belly. So I have my stuffing here, and I'll just start it a little bit so you can see. So I'm gonna stuff it in there, and then I'm going to move it where I would like it to go. So I think I'm like, so I'm gonna start with the arm, get it a little bit fluffy in the arm, like that. And then I'll do the other arm and try to get, I'll try to stuff it, the other arm. So you're gonna remember to put it inside that pouch. And it is a little bit tricky. So you have to kind of just push and pull and push and get it in there. You might wanna use a stick could get a stick to put it in there too, a straw or a stick that will help it move in there. Um, and then you'll get to your legs and I'll just show you, his arms are getting a little bit more fluffy. And then you could do his legs and then you can do his head and his belly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff his head so you can see how that looks. There you go, there he is. He comes alive. But like I said, you can make it as fluffy as you want because you are in charge of your animal. Well, boys and girls, when you're all done with your plush, you're going to put your rainbow star in it, make a wish, give it a kiss, and put it inside your pouch. And then with that string, you're going to zip it up zip your plush up and you will be all ready for fun you'll zip it up and you will have it and then that way the stuffing won't fall out and then you'll be all ready and then you push that all the way back in there and you will have a wonderful plush you could either have a husky, a snow owl, a snow monster, a snow leopard, a penguin, a um, 
uh, I think there was a, um, a snow monster, whatever you chose. And then I also, oh, a black bear. I also wanted to mention if you received a black bear or a snowflake bear or a snow monster, you have to, you can use a full bag. We put a full bag in your bag and the, all the other animals or the, all the other plushes, they get a half a bag. So there's a little note in your, in your plastic bag as well to tell you what you need. So boys and girls, we can't wait to see all of your um, plushes and have a lot of fun with them. Have a good evening. I also am going to be reading a story and doing a little flannel board. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Diane. I want to read you a story that you can maybe show to your plush, your um, Winterland Pale. It's about a polar bear and some penguins. And this book came with the polar bear and penguins and snow owls and the snow monster and the snow leopard and the snowy owl. So maybe this is something that you'd like to show your plush when you're done with it. It's called Polar Bear Island by Lindsay Bonilla. And she was the author and illustrated by Cinta Villa Lobos. Polar Bear Island was peaceful and predictable. Parker, the mayor, planned to keep it that way. And the sign said, Welcome to Polar Bear Island. No others allowed. Ooh. But Kirby, this is Kirby, waddled where the wind blew. And today she was floating towards paradise. Kirby said, Parker, excuse me, said, didn't you read the sign? Get out! I have had a long journey, said Kirby. Please let me stay for the night, please. One night, no more. And Parker stomped away. Mm. Well, Kirby opened her suitcase and some curious polar bears peeked out of their dens. That's where polar bears live. They live in a den. What are you doing, they asked. I am looking for my flipper slippers, slippers, said Kirby. They keep your flippers and feet very warm. Oh, plus they are reversible, so with one side, you can skate on ice, and with the other, you can wade through the snow. They were very interested and very curious. Kirby was excited to share her invention with her new friends. The bears love learning to make flipper slippers, slippers, but of their own, and they couldn't wait to try them out. But their laughter woke up Parker. Uh-oh. What are those things on your paws? Parker said. Mrr, he was growling. They're flipper slippers, said the bears. They're toasty and they're warm and tons of fun. Try some. Parker shook his head. Mm. Polar bears have paws, not flippers. I knew something like this would happen. Start picking, penguin. Oh, and they felt so nice and warm and they could slip on the ice. Parker was not happy. Mm. Well, but the polar bears protested and they said, she can't go now. She's still helping me with my slippers and mine. They were all saying that. Oh, this could take a while, said Kirby. Hmm. Let her stay, begged the bears. Let her stay. Let her stay. Fine. One penguin and no more. No more penguins. Well, Kirby flipped her, flapped her flippers with glee. Yay, 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 yay. She sent a letter to her family telling them about her adventures. But, uh-oh which is exactly why they came to visit. 
I don't think Parker is going to be happy about that. What do you think, boys and girls? He said one penguin, no more. Oh, boy. Parker was not happy. Didn't you read the sign he asked? Get out. It says, welcome to Polar Bear Island. No others allowed. Well, one penguin and no others allowed. He did not look happy. Wait, said Kirby. This is my family. We've had a long journey, said the penguins. Please let us stay. Parker raised a claw. One week, no more. Then he stomped away. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh my goodness, Parker. Well, this is what happened. Kirby's family opened their suitcases and her friends peeked out of their dens. What are you doing? They're so curious, they asked. I'm making a sled bed, said Kirby's brother. And I'm whipping up a batch of snow cones for snack time, said Kirby's sister. I'm shoveling paths for snowshoots, said Kirby's cousin. Soon the bears were slurping snow cones, swishing down snowshoots, and slip sliding in their sled beds. All the bears, except for Parker, because Parker was always seemed to be very angry. Uh oh. Then all of a sudden, you penguins are taking over this island! He shouted. Pack your bags. Hop on your hop on your ice floe and whoa! Whoa! Look at Parker. He went whoa. Parker slipped on some sleet and crushed, crashed. I'm sorry to the ice. Ow! He cried. I can't move my leg. Ow! 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 The polar bears shook their heads. This never would have happened if you'd been wearing flipper slippers. And that's true. He wouldn't have slipped on the ice, boys and girls. Hmm. Kirby and her friends leaped into action. They rolled Parker onto a sled bed and shoveled a snowshoe in his den. They pushed his paws into flipper slippers and stuffed him with snow, sugary snow cones. Well, that must have made him feel pretty good. Look it. Wow, thought Parker. This sled bed is so snuggly. My paws feel so toasty. And these snow cones are scrumptious. In one week, Parker was back on his paws again. The penguins started packing and they knew their time on Polar Island, Polar Bear Island was up. So they knew they had to go. What's going on here, said Parker. Didn't you read the sign? Oh, I wonder if he signed a sign. The penguins nodded, yes, that they were leaving. Maybe you better read it again. And it says, welcome to Polar Bear Island. Others allowed. He crossed out no. Others are allowed. Well, he changed his tune, didn't he, boys and girls? Maybe you, so he said to read it again. Parker pointed to the freshly painted sign. I was wrong. You penguins weren't taking over the island. You were making it a much better place. Please stay. Aw. Well, I'm glad that he, I'm not glad that he got hurt, but I'm glad that they took good care of him and that he wanted them to stay. So they did. Penguin and Polar Bear Island became a wonderful place for everyone. The end. And it's funny because penguins and polar bears are polar opposites. Polar bears live in um, the Arctic and penguins live way down south in the Antarctic, but they learn to live together. Thank you boys and girls for listening to the story and have so much fun with your, uh, with your winter wonderland pals. And I can't wait to see them. Thank you. Good night.